Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, representing SBG Nace and making his mixed martial arts debut. Please welcome Yuri Malenko. <laughs> See me, you wanna get some. It's easy, cause I'm the best one. I bring it, it's all in good fun. But baby, this is your last one. Please welcome his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, representing MMA Cork, and bringing into the cage a record of one win and one defeat, Evan Horgan! Hey, Ariel. Good fun. 
Three rounds in store here, folks, in the super lightweight division. We have Evan Horgan in the red gloves representing MMA Corp. One on one record. He's fought in the last two Cage Legacy events. Yuri Malenko making his debut, but is a very experienced wrestler. Just in case you couldn't tell by looking at him. <laughs> Horgan displayed some really good wrestling in the, the last Cage Legacy show. Shauna, that we did here when he beat Jason McCartney over three rounds, but we can see here what Yuri Milenko wants to do. Yeah, straight in. Overhand to wrestle. Wasn't expecting anything else, to be honest. Very good reversal. With that scarf hold position. The ref. Nice. I thought I was about to say he's about to throw Evan Horgan on his head, but Horgan did nice very shot. well. Very nice shot. Appreciate back being able to punch in the face yes. in these fights. <laughs> yeah, a bit of real violence. <laughs> yeah. Nice bit of cage work here, deep on the hook, punching on the way. Landing and scoring. 
I'm impressed. Uh, Evan Horgan's wrestling looked very good in that last bout. His first Cage Legacy appearance, he got submitted quite quickly by Alex Kyo, but I don't think there's any shame in that. Alex Kyo is an absolute handful for anybody. Yeah. We got to see what he's really about in his last one where he won, but he's, he's nice. showing up well so far at the beginning of this uh, this third appearance. He's scoring here. He's the one landing all the knees and the punches. Yeah. I think he looks really, really strong. He's really uh, imposing himself on Yuri Milenkov at the moment. Yeah, he's quite content to be here because he, he's in a dominant position and he's the one that's landing all the shots. He's, he's staying busy, yeah. I'd love to see him just try to break the balance a little bit more, maybe go hip to hip, split the legs. Because he's, he's dominating the clinch here. I think he can have a nice top position if he gets him now. Yeah. Them knees all add up as well. He's landing heavy knees to the legs. They're coming in on the side as well, which them. is going to be... Yeah. Ouch. A calf it's, knee. Yeah, nice. We can see Milenkov is feeling these. He's That's, not there. Uh, they're lovely shots. He's not absorbing them too well, you know. And the thing about it is, he has the body lock on, which means he has to sit heavy on his legs to keep his balance. And when you you get kneed or kicked when you're heavy on your leg, it adds that little bit more pain. Yeah, oh, of makes course. It ten times worse. Yuri's after switching back and forth, so it must be causing a bit of pain for him. Yeah, he tried to take himself out of that line of fire, didn't he? Yeah, definitely. He doesn't really. That was nice knee back. He's trying to elevate his opponent. He's trying to pull upwards on those elbows to bring his opponent's level up. But he's really struggling, isn't he? Yeah, yeah he doesn't really have any answers for Yuri right now. Or I'm sorry for Evan. Evan. Well, let's say Yuri, quite an experienced competition wrestler over the years. But you're against the cage right now. And yeah. the strikes involved. Also, yeah, when you're getting punched as well. And Things need. change a little, don't they? Definitely. <laughs> really strong round from Evan Horgan here. Yeah. Give him a bit of confidence as well going into the second. Without a doubt, he'll be happy with his performance there. Round two on deck here, folks. Just a reminder, if you are watching us on the free YouTube stream, YouTube stream, this is the final fight on that free stream, and we are going on pay-per-view next. So if you want to continue to listen to our musings all night, we've got some massive fights in store. Go to the Cage Legacy social media accounts, find the YouTube li or the, the pay-per-view link, and join us there for the next one. But this one's not done yet. Yuri Milenkov is trying to get back into the swing of things here. Really, really trying to win the round back that he lost. Um, he, I think he really needs to do a lot of big damage to win this round, though. Yeah. Look at that uh, Look at that Put knee. On the knee of Evan, yeah. I wonder uh, how that's after happening. He's in this scarf hole here. This is where I feel he wants to get the fight from the start, to be honest, because you could see he was trying to do that yeah. a couple of times in the last round. But... Evan was a little bit too strong and dominant. Milenkov actually competed against a training partner of mine a couple of weeks ago at ADCC and won the match in this particular position. Must Part be his go-to. Shout out to me pal Bart who said this, he just couldn't couldn't do anything against the guy in this position. And it it's looks like it's awkward and it's uncomfortable, but it's not really like wouldn't be my cup of tea to be in this position now. Yeah. He could go out to the back. Really nice if he can free his head. I'd like to see him keep him moving on bottom. Nice. Very good adjustment nice, by Evan Horgan. And out to the back, I know. Good control of the leg on the scramble to, to retain top there. Now is where I'd like to see Yuri throwing some shots. Yeah. Maybe pass by this knee and get into half guards and score a bit of damage. He's still staying guards in wrestler mindset open. at the moment, isn't he? And he's yeah. 
like the guard is wide open here I'd be passing even into half guard because the cage is in the way and then heavy shots yeah when you come in and you'll notice Shauna coming in from a different combat sport sometimes it takes time to you know retrain your brain to think differently in certain situations 100% and when you're tired and drained you go back muscle memory goes back to what you're used to as well look at that you switch to, to the back, back by Evan Horgan there. I'd like to see him use the instep and drag him over to the side yeah, there's just a bit of details lacking in these positions. And that Back comes with experience, doesn't it? Both yeah. of these guys are just finding their way in their amateur exactly. line up at the moment. But that left arm is almost getting out. It's getting kind of close to the chin. If he can, uh, he's trying to use shots to free it up. Yeah, I'd like to see Evan if, he, if the choke isn't on, just keep throwing shots, keep scoring. Even if it's not significant, you're landing, and you never know. You might sneak a little. That's it. And in a three-minute uh, round, shoot. Nathan, you just if you, if you do enough enough like that, just to uh, be the one who's doing enough to score and land some shots. Yuri's doing the right thing here, controlling the hands, making sure he can't be hit or choke. Yeah. But, um, I'd like to see him um, kind of make some space and really hammer the head. Looks like he's chasing that choke again, oh, yeah. that rear naked. That's ten. Will he get it? I can't really see at the angle whether it's. It's difficult for us to see. Yeah. It's on the face, but it looks. Yeah, you'll deal with that one. Put up that with was a bit of a back and forth round. We go third and final round. You'd imagine Evan Horgan is in a strong lead here on the scorecard. So I really think Jordi needs to try finish this fight. I don't know if he has the energy to do that, but yeah, Evan still looks quite fresh. Milenkov looks like he's he's feeling a bit of an adrenaline dump too, doesn't he? I'm really liking Evan's hand positioning on on the feet, covering yeah. his temples, high guard. And he's chasing him nice and safely. Yeah, he doesn't need to take crazy risks now either. It's just jab, 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 hands up, jab. And we can see here the movement of Milenkov. Everything is really wild and exaggerated. A little, little desperation in some of those moves. So Yeah, I, when fatigue sets in, it, it, it shows a lot more how wild people get. Um, so he's doing the right thing here, pursuing, trying to, trying to get him down. But... I think he's uh, been trying the whole fight to give this and he's been struggling so I really think Evan is um, he's really strong here and he's comfortable and, and I think he'll win the fight if uh, he can just keep controlling him. Yeah, he's a very well-rounded fighter. He seems to, and um, we're back in this position and he reacts to it very well straight away. We see there the fatigue now. He got Yuri got uh, Horgan to that position that he wanted him to but he was too tired to actually secure the position. Yeah. It's a real 100% of that that headlock throw there I think it's it's all or nothing and if it slips work, if it doesn't work out your way I think it's a lot of energy uh, yeah. a lot of energy wasted but. look at this straight into Evan the Mount Evan Horgan nice. this is what we wanted to see earlier when we looked at Angelo Moraru getting to this position in the team fight and he, yeah. just, he didn't have the option of doing this but lovely control onto the back now he took that hook out which was nice nice wrist control too and to he's back him. into the mountain nice he's just chasing it perfect I like the way he sat back there as Milenkov turned. To pull him back into his back, yeah, nice. Lovely adjustment. Very calm and composed work by Evan Horgan. He's going for the choke. Looks like it's on. 
It looks a lot tighter now, and we've got a tired Malenkov in there as well, so sometimes... I think he'd be better off on the shot there. can be a factor. I'd like to see him come up on top and go yeah. uh, hips in to make uh, Malenka go belly down. Hammer the ground and pound. I think it's a good position if he can walk up the top, but he's winning the fight. He's winning the round. No need to, to change anything at the minute here. No, he should be very happy with his performance. It was a very nice. Wrist control allows him now to start fishing for the choke from the opposite side. Yuri surviving the last 10 seconds, really. Looks like he'll get there, but I think Evan Horgan's going to be very pleased with his work this evening. Yeah, nice. Nice three rounds. Folks, we will be back in 10 minutes. Get that link to the pay-per-view and join us there. Gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the scorecards for the decision. Your judges score this bout 29 28, 30 27, and 30 27 for your winner by unanimous decision, Evan Horgan! You see me, you want to get some. It's easy, cause I'm the best one I bring it, it's all in good fun But baby, this is your last one 